Hi, boys and girls. I'm so glad you joined me today. I want to read you a couple stories and then do a craft with you or two, if you would like. This first story is called Cookies Week, and it's published by Paper Star. It's written by Cindy Ward and Tommy DePola do the pictures. Do you think Cookie is a cat? <laughs> Let's find out. Cookies Week. On Monday, Cookie fell in the toilet. Uh oh, there was water everywhere. On Tuesday, Cookie knocked the plant off the windowsill. There was dirt everywhere. Uh -oh. On Wednesday, Cookie upset the trash can. What do you predict happened? There was garbage everywhere. On Thursday, Cookie got stuck in a kitchen drawer. Do you have a prediction? There were pots and pans and dishes everywhere. On Friday, Cookie ran into the closet before the door closed. Uh oh, what do you think happened? There were clothes everywhere. On Saturday, Cookie climbed the curtains. Uh oh. And Cookie went everywhere. <laughs> Tomorrow is Sunday. Maybe Cookie will rest. What do you think? Did he rest? It doesn't look like it. Looks like he wants to do some more things. The next book I have for you is called Mama Cat. Yes, Mama Cat has three kittens. It's written and the pictures were drawn by Denise Fleming and it's published by Scholastic. Mama Cat has three kittens. Mama Cat has three kittens, Fluffy, Skinny, and Boris. When Mama Cat washes her paws, Fluffy and Skinny wash their paws. Boris naps. When Mama Cat walks the stone wall, Fluffy and Skinny walk the stone wall. Boris naps. When Mama Cat sharpens her claws, what do you think, boys and girls? Fluffy and Skinny sharpen their claws. Boris naps. When Mama Cat chases leaves, Fluffy and Skinny chase leaves. Boris naps. When Mama Cat digs in the sand, what do you think? What is your prediction? Fluffy and Skinny dig in the sand. Boris naps. Do you see him way over there? He must be a sleepy kitty. When Mama Cat curls up to nap, Fluffy and Skinny curl up to nap. What do you think Boris does? Boris stretches, yawns, washes his paws, and pounces.
on Fluffy, Skinny, and Mama Cat. Then Boris naps. <laughs> oh, I like that. And there's the end, little mouse with her babies. Let's try making, I think I've got enough space over here for you to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to move my chair. Let's try making a cookie cat. So for cookie, you need a couple of paper plates. And what we do is we just, if you have the ones that are a little more flimsy, but you, those are the best ones to have because then you don't have to cut all the way around to make it just a little smaller. So I'm going to cut both of them around. One is going to be the body and one is going to be the head. So what I want to do is I want to draw ears on here. So let's see if I can draw some ears. And then we'll cut around this. Cats have kind of tips on their ears. They're not rounded. So we kind of make them go into a point. And then cut around for the head. Heads are usually a round circle shape, aren't they? All right. I'm just about done cutting. Sometimes cutting hard paper like plates is tricky. It takes a lot of strength out of your hands, but I think by now you can do it. You are all very good cutters. So does that kind of look like a cat's head? Okay, well, we're going to pretend it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the cat's head on the body, on the bottom, and the tail. Let's see. I think I'll use maybe this for a tail. Let's see if it works. I'll just cut a roundy part. No, oh, tails aren't quite that thick. Maybe we'll do it this way. But I want his tail to be a little curved because I want him, I want to be able to hang him on things like if he's climbing the curtains. Maybe we'll cut it just a little bit more inside here. Not really a right or a wrong way to do things, just making it, trying to make it work. All right, so you could glue that. I am going to use some tape to tape it in place because I want to see if it will hang right away. But you can use glue or tape. That kind of look like a tail. Well, I don't think it'll hang on there, but we'll see if we can find a place maybe on the calendar or the pocket chart to hang it after. Okay, so we should probably draw some eyes on our cat. And Cookie had green eyes, didn't he? I like to make um, an outline of black because I just think that looks makes it look a little better, a little more easier to see. So I'll make some cat eyes. Okay, and then I'll color in some dots. You see that there? Color in his green eyes. And I'm going to give him a little black in the, in the middle. There's my cat's eyes. And let's do, I'll just outline it a little more so it shows up just a little bit more. 
And then you need a nose. And maybe some pink for the ears. So I'm going to cut a couple of triangle shapes and glue those into the ears. That one's a little, maybe a little long. And we'll get some glue and we'll glue those in the ears. I don't know if cats really have pink in the inside of their ears, but I think it looks pretty. You don't have to do it this way. You can do it the way you want to. And it's all good. All right. I think I'm going to trim this up a bit. There. Okay, so I've got the ears. Now what do you think I need? Yeah, I think I need a nose too. I'm going to give it just a tiny little nose. There. And... Now, cookie was white and black, but I'm just going to make mine white. If you want to color yours white and black, that would be awesome. And then I'm going to put a little black coming down. And my cookie's going to have kind of a smile on his face. So you could make a face like that if you want, or you make it how you want. Okay, so then I'm going to hook this onto the body by putting glue only on the ears and the top part of the head because that way I have his head stuck on there. Now you can't really tell the difference between the head. Maybe I'll use a pencil for this part, just outlining it. And I think I'm going to cut just a little bit more of this off. It's not sticking very good if I don't cut some more of that off. Okay. Now I think it will stay on a little better. And I'm just going to outline around it, just kind of tracing. Because then you can see where the cat's head starts and where the body is. So, now what are we missing on our cat? <laughs> paws. We need how many paws to make a cat? Yeah, we need four of them. And you can get any piece of um, paper for, for that. I'm just wondering. I think I'm gonna make my cat tail a little thinner. Because I want it, I really want it to hang on something and I'm not sure it's going to do that if I don't make it just a little thinner. But anyways, that should be good and we will get some paper for paws. I'm going to just cut a piece of paper here and we'll make some paws. So the fastest way is if you fold your paper, I could probably make four paws at one time. So I'm just gonna cut here. So now I've got some folds in paper and then I will go around for the tip of the paw. And the top part, oh, I better cut through here. The top part, I don't need to worry about whether it's rounded or not because it's going to be hidden. Now, what is on a cat's paws? Do you know? Claws, that's right. So let's draw some claws on our cat paws. Put two on there, three on my back, or two. Some have two, some have three. It's all right. Oops, I think I need to put the glue on this side. I got a paw there. And a paw here. And now two more paws. One there. Add a little bit of glue to the top. 
and stick that on here. Does that kind of look like Cookie? <laughs> oh, Cookie, I wonder what kind of trouble you're going to get into. So I want to see if it will hang on some of the things I have in my classroom. So let's try it, boys and girls. Let's stick it here and look at that. So he hangs on the calendar. Cats can climb up high, can't they? So with this cat, if you make it out of um, a, a paper plate, then you've got hard paper. If you cut the tail out, it will stick on to just about anything. And then we can have that kitty cat. I want to show you one more kitty cat that we can make. And this one's really quick. If you want to make a black one this time, you need a strip of paper like this and another little strip of paper and I'm going to use eyes that are kind of like Pete the Cat's eyes yellow and then I'll draw some black on the inside. So what we do for this one is we fold it in, make two folds so that they meet in the middle and then what we do is we put the folds together like so and actually, I think instead of tape, I'm going to use glue for this one. So I think it'll work a bit better. And so glue those. So this is our little cat body. Now we need a, t a tail. Um, let's find a piece of paper to make a tail. And... Cats have a roundy tip at, their, at the tip of their tail. So I'm going to put that kind of like that. We'll glue that on. Maybe that's a little long. Maybe it kind of looks more like a, a mouse's tail. But this is my cat. Okay. And then we need a head. I'm going to grab another piece of paper. So to make a cat head... What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my paper and make it similar to a heart shape, but not quite. It's going to be roundy at the bottom instead of in a point, but it's kind of like a heart shape. Do you see that? So we're going to turn it upside down and that's going to be our cat head. But it looks like it's a little too big for my body, so I need to make it just a little smaller. Does that look a little better? Maybe. And then I need some ears. And I'm going to give my guy black ears, but with a little bit of pink on them. So, well cut out a triangle because cat's ears sometimes look like they're triangle shapes and then put my little bit of pink in there I hope you like making crafts I know I do I think it's kind of fun. Do you think it's kind of fun? And then I'll glue that on. And glue this one on. And then glue this to the top of his head. So they're kind of, the pink is on the top and the black is around the bottom. Glue his ears on. There we go. And we need some eyes. Whoa, those are big eyes. I think we have to cut them just a little smaller. They're just a little too big. He's going to have great big eyes. I think they need to be even a little smaller. 
Let's try that. Ah, that'll work. They're not bigger than his face when they're both together, so that will probably work. And now we've got yellow there. I'm going to put some black in the middle. So I need a black marker. And we'll, I'm going to make these look like this. Sometimes cats' black eyes look like that, don't they? Pete the Cat's looks like that. And then we're going to give him just a little bit of a nose or tongue. I don't know what you want. It could be either. But we'll set it behind there. And whatever you want it to be, whether you want it to be his nose or your tongue or its tongue, you can decide. And it needs some whiskers. And I think the easiest way to draw on black is to get chalk for if you want your whiskers white. So I'm just going to give it some whiskers. Did you see that? Let's bring it up closer. Okay, so now to make it have a wobbly head, and I think that's kind of fun, we take a little piece of paper and we fold it one way, fold it the other way. So kind of like a stair or accordion. You're just folding it back and forth. So when you let go, it looks like that. Do you see that? So we're going to glue one part onto here and one part onto his head. So we'll put one part there and then add a little bit of glue onto the end and put that part there and then push it forward and there's my kitty cat <laughs> his head is there wobbling away so you could make a kitty cat like that he says i'm hungry i want something to eat <laughs> so there's two different ways to make a kitty cat i hope you will try at least one way you don't have to but i hope you like crafts and if you do that would be kind of fun Thank you for joining me today, boys and girls, and I will see you again later. Bye for now.